yo yo what is up ladies and gents we are back and today we're going to be talking about fishing i know we briefly talked about this however i definitely want to just show you guys something that i just learned about so basically um and when it comes to fishing on the top right hand corner you're going to see that there's a location um we're currently in the upper beer and river there's a wind direction i know this may sound silly but i did not know about that for the longest time until um someone just told me right now in the party like because i don't i don't fish in games like often um but yeah as you can see the wind direction is more uh, pushing to the left uh 0.82 do you know what the, what the ms stands for by the way is that like millisecond or i'm sorry guys meters per second meters per second possibly yeah okay so it's 0.82 i'm guessing meters per second wind direction blowing to the left so that means when i cast my line i actually have to shoot it knowing that the wind's gonna be pushing left but as you can see if i aim this way the wind's pushing differently so this is really close that means that line is pushing back towards me so we're gonna try to go for this one even though it's a little bit farther away um the last thing to uh mention is that this says very plentiful so that means fish are gonna be biting like crazy um, you don't need to get your line onto the blue to get rare fish, but it's a higher chance. You can catch fish anywhere, and I'm using literally just the bait that I buy from the market. You can get better baits to get better fish, but again, I'm just using the basic bait. Um, so let's go. So one direction, a little bit, 0.82 to the right. So I'm going to move my rod a little to the right, and it looks like it's about 80%. or you know, It looks more like 60, 70, so. Boom. Got it in the blue. So the next thing is you gotta wait for it to bite. If you have vibration on, sure, go ahead and do that. All right, so that you can definitely tell when it like tugs a little harder, and that's when you go in and catch it. You hold uh, the trigger button or your right R2. You let go when the exclamation point comes up. So, you know, just let it breathe a little bit. If it's a really big fish, you have to do like. Um, R3 prompts like go left or right you don't have to click um, and what I mean by that is like it'll tell you to go left or right or up or down and you do that on your right thumbstick you don't have to click you just have to move in that direction um, you definitely let go of the let go of the the stick uh, or I mean let go of the trigger when um, they're fighting back like that but don't let go for the entire time because if you do you're gonna you're gonna get like uh, you're gonna lose your fish so here we go. It's 1.09 going north. So I'm going to actually, instead of, I would normally do like a 0.30 uh, speed. So I'm actually going to go like 40, uh, like 20. You know, you know what? Let's do 30%. This is going to push my line a little farther up. All right, th I, that's too much. It's going to push it past it. Yeah, see, it's going to push past it. We went a little too far. At uh, 25 or 30, I would have been fine. But again, this is how you basically fish and bless. You just wait. Remember, wait for that 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 prompt to just go crazy. You, if it nibbles, you don't have to do it. Like right there, it might do it on the first one. It just kind of triggers three times, and you know you're gonna get a guaranteed bite. Sometimes it just does it once, but like look for a three three bite flash, and then you're good to go. Remember, right here, I'm letting go, and now I'm pressing the trigger again. And it should be an, an, a catch. Sometimes, like, I have a very basic, cheap um, fishing rod. So it's not a good one to have. I mean, wand. Why do I keep talking wand? It's not a good fishing rod to have. Um, let me walk over here and start the fishing over here. Okay, so it's wind direction point 1.36 meters per second to the left. It's, I gotta move my, that way when the wind blows, it'll go to the right. So, boom, in the blue, instantly. And now we wait. All right, cool. The 
And my line's about to snap. Hopefully it doesn't do another prompt. All right, cool. Got it. All right. So we just got ourselves a rare fish. Now, the last thing I want to teach you guys is um, something that has been speculated in. And a lot of people say they've confirmed it. And they say that it's done. But if you've caught these fish, don't salvage them um, right away. Get one of every single fish type. And there's a reason for that. Um, as you can see, in this area regional, I have to catch the butterfly fish. I don't have it. But let's say I did have it. I'm going to walk over and actually activate the regional in the area. And you're going to want to go to a merchant and sell the fish. So let me show you guys an example. I'm going to start seed over to where the cars accord location is. Let's see. Okay, so here's the cars accord location. Let's go. So basically, you can actually sell and buy back the fish to confirm the regional being finished. Um, people have been doing that to get their trophies without having to fish every single time. And that's kind of like a, a skeevy way to do it. I haven't done it myself. I've just heard the rumors. Um, but this is why exactly I'm going to test it to see if it's true. So like, I have every mish mish fish type locked so if the regional asks for these fish i'm gonna lock it and i'm gonna sell these specific fish back to the fish merchant so the fish merchant you know depending on the area is in your is right here for example the cars core fish i've already completed this regional so i'll find out you know basically on the reset if it works so here's the fishing tool merchant so what you want to do is you're going to want to sell this fish Go here, and then you can sell these fish for that price, because the, the the trick is when you sell this fish, it actually pops up here. So let's say you've done, let's say it's asked for that that fish in this area, you come over here, and you just buy back that fish, and boom. So as you can see, I could just buy the fish back. Actually, sorry, I go to sell first, and then the fish is down here. That's pretty much it, guys. That's all I have to talk about. And, you know, hopefully you guys learned a little bit about fishing. I will definitely go into it in more detail when it comes to upgrading your lines. You get these trophies from completing your regionals. I don't know all of it just yet. But, uh, you know, I will definitely learn and teach you as long as I basically get well-versed in it. I don't want to um, basically say anything I don't really know anything about yet. But this is uh, the extent of my knowledge on fishing at the moment. So thanks, you guys, for watching. As always, stay blessed. Don't forget to follow the socials. And uh, take it easy.